Welcome back to Ray Law Criminal Defense. Thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, take a minute to subscribe. We release new videos every week where we tackle criminal law from A to Z. Today's video is part of our evidence series. We'll discuss different types of evidence and the forms they typically come in. What is evidence? Evidence is the collective term for information, physical objects, or data that can be utilized to support or disprove some aspect of the case being tried. What are the types of evidence? All evidence can be divided into two categories, depending on how it is being presented. Evidence may be classified as direct evidence or circumstantial evidence. Direct evidence is evidence that can be directly linked to a source. The fact that it is being used to prove can be observed by viewing the evidence. It essentially speaks for itself. Circumstantial evidence is evidence that is being offered by way of an inference. The presenter of circumstantial evidence must artfully demonstrate the connection between the evidence and the fact it is being used to assert without definitive proof. What are some of the common forms of evidence? There are a variety of different forms of evidence that is permitted. Evidence can be documentary. Examples of documentary evidence in written form include business records, notes, emails, texts, essentially anything that contains written or typewritten information. Documentary evidence also comes in digital form, such as videos, audio recordings, or photographs. There's also forensic evidence. Forensic evidence is scientific data gathered by law enforcement and analyzed by specialists during a criminal investigation. This can include DNA that is retrieved from a person's hair, nails, or skin. It may also be contained within blood, saliva, or another bodily fluid. The last form of evidence we'll cover today is physical evidence. Physical evidence is essentially anything you can touch. An example of this could be an item you use in the commission of a crime, such as a weapon. Finally, it is important to note that evidence may be classified as more than one form. For instance, a photograph is a type of physical evidence, but may also be classified as documentary. No matter how persuasive a piece of evidence may seem, if you can't get it in front of the jury and admit it into the trial record, it won't help your case. This is where the assistance of a skilled attorney can make the difference. For more on how evidence is deemed admissible, check out our video, Evidence Laying the Foundation. Thank you for the privilege of your time. We'll see you next time.